Hey everyone, it's Base Jackie Transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video. And well, yeah, I don't look like a hobo again. I got my hair done, and hair fixed today, so which is like Thursday on like March 11th, 2K21. The first time my hairdresser Nicole was allowed to open this shop again, like after ages. And uh, we had like a date fixed, like uh, three weeks prior to this, but uh, according to the like regulations and stuff. Uh, there was no chance to get my hair done, so uh, I looked weird and I looked like a hobo uh, in the last videos, I guess, and, but now I'm feeling good, I'm feeling like a human again, and I received mail, so uh, this little parcel envelope thing coming from the Umland Records label straight out of Essen, Germany, uh, was sitting in my post box yesterday, and I decided, well, uh, I could like do a little unboxing video today before uh, one of my radio shows is actually re-aired at uh, Colors Toys Radio in the UK today at like 11.30 in the evening, like German time, Central European time, which I guess makes it like 10.30 p.m. like UK time, but I doubt that you are like able to log in there on the internet because this video might go up only shortly prior to this like time so uh, but anyway it's good to see one of my radio shows being re-aired kind of and uh, just for a short one let's dive into this one uh, hefty uh, little envelope so the first one the Umland Records guys uh, sent me like this year I guess the last one came in if I'm not mistaken maybe in late December or like mid-December last year so it's been three months, but I guess uh, due to like the bands not being able to tour and like everything is like a little bit like delayed and slowed down due to the COVID situation, I guess they've been restricting themselves a little bit from releasing stuff. But now they got new stuff on the circuit. I don't have any idea what is in there. So um, apart from it being CDs, I guess, uh, which is the format of choice for the label, kind of. And yeah, it's like three albums um, and promo sheets and stuff and one of these albums is in like protective shrink wrap things so I'm gonna remove this first before I um, yeah kind of uh, go into the details about those albums YouTube has been acting up yesterday I don't know if you've experienced this as well so uh, when I watched the video and like uh, wanted to write a comment while the video was playing or like especially it was like just a like um, still video with sound so like an, an old rave track or something and uh, yeah I tried to, to type a comment and then like hitting the eye on the um, keyboard it was like okay uh, there was this mini player opening up hitting a space bar didn't like um, result in a space actually in the text but like stopped and like yeah kind of restarted the video again and stuff totally annoying i found out that this is a youtube glitch kind of and the only way i could like resolve the situation and like get my youtube comments working to normal again is uh or was like through deleting all the youtube cookies which kind of sucked but uh it had to be done and today I found out as uh, like ex-junkie XNL Paul, uh, one of the members of the YouTube vinyl community told me that one of my comments I left on his uh, video, on his latest video with a reference, a referring link to a kind of uh, Discogs page of a label which had a similar like kind of typography type font thing to one of the records he showed. He told me that my comments are disappearing, kind of, and I presume this is due to the link, to the Discogs link I posted, but still, this never has occurred prior to this, uh, so maybe YouTube is kind of glitchy, but whatever, let's go into this, ooh, well, there is a kind of sticker falling out, so uh, we'll see what this is. There is a press sheet, as usual, I guess, and one of those pretty little Umlaut Records stickers which is like a nice uh, representation of the label logo and I guess this is the outlines of the city of Essen maybe where the Umlaut Records is located in Germany so uh, might be wrong might be right so but this uh, would make sense as a logo there is uh, three new releases on the Umlaut la Records label I saw it Kamata Degenhardt Luxus Fluxus ST Kirchhoff for the Void and Luise Volkmann and 
Leon Sauvage dreams to come. Um, there is a little bit of like info on these releases, like a double press info here and a an extended text, very extended text on there for the Umland Records album Dreams to Come by Louise Volkmann and Leon Savage. But uh, let's dive into the covers first. Uh, for the Void by S.T. Kirchhoff. Played on guitars, banjos and electronics actually. Looks like this. Uh, very interesting artwork and uh, typography with the kind of scratched letters and stuff. One of the artists who is like involved in the label for a long time and I guess one of the founding uh, members as well. This is Omelet Records 42 for the Void. It's a collection of compositions and improvisations recorded in fall and winter 2020. S.T. Kirchhoff creates pieces ranging from electronic noise and ambient to folk inspired banjo melodies. Sometimes dark and menacing, sometimes meditative, sometimes joyful and energetic. So, with like uh, nine tracks, we might get a wide variety of sound on here. I'm a little bit in doubt about the noise part, but uh, we'll see. The label has come up with like a few surprises in recent releases, and one of them was like a kind of uh, album that was like also employing like modular synth techniques and all this cut up and a little bit of more noisy stuff. So maybe they are going into a direction that is a little bit off or like going off and away from the, the pure jazz uh, and related run they are like usually operating into. The next one is Isolde Kamata Degenhardt, Luxus Fluxus, a trio which includes uh, the label's founder and my contact there, Simon Kamata as well. A trio uh, which like amalgamates classic and modern percussion and electronic sounds uh, with like loose structures and free improvisations and experimental electronic music. This is like, okay, with the Fluxus name in there, Luxus Fluxus and the Fluxus movement being a electronic cut up movement as well. This does totally make sense to have like a free improv um, meets electronics approach. So I uh, really like the cover as well with a like little nice detail on there and a kind of like what the metal piece uh, maybe uh, it's like a metal art piece or a kind of meteorite or whatever a crystalline structure but I cannot make this out exactly so uh, here's the front here's the back might be a metal brain or whatever very puzzled by this, but I totally like the artwork as well. And here is the inside 15 tracks, so this might be a longer album piece as well. And they have gotten a kind of sponsorship or like support for this album, I guess both from uh, a place called Volksbühne and also from um, the Department of Cultural and uh, Culture and Science of the um, land North, uh, North Rhine-Westphalia, which is like one section, one department of Germany, like one uh, Bundesland, as we call it, one, one state, one, one state within Germany. So, they might have get, gotten some sponsorship and financial support for this, so um, very interesting. Drums and electronics sounds promising and the artwork looks promising as well, so we'll dig deep into this on my website and I'll see in a few days, I guess. And the final one is uh, Luisa Volkmann's and Leon Sauvage's Dream to Come. Okay, I won't go through all of this to give you a rough idea. But there is one, one section here in the text, the very end section that's uh, mentioned some kind of like positivism uh, spread into uh, a difficult time in which we are like living right now. So, um, and the artwork looks very happy kind of and positive. So uh, dreams to come, definitely an 
a well-fitting title for these troubled times, I guess. Because a lot of people are kind of dreaming of freedom and of whatever, like being able to go out to concerts and to shows again and stuff. And I guess the folks involved in this label and in those bands are dreaming of that too. Because, well, I guess for a label like this, touring and for artists like this, touring and selling merch and like um, sound carriers on shows is the main thing to do. And the, a main source of income when operating in that live music field. So, uh, yeah, this is it for now. A little unboxing for the Umland Records label. Shout out to Simon Kamata and the crew for sending me out, for sorting me out for all the time. And I'm gonna review those on my website, NightSales.de. Nice Feel free to check out my Bandcamp as well, which will be popping up here, or another video I will got or have linked here, so you can check more of this channel and stuff. Support me, spread the news, leave a comment, like, subscribe, you know the score. I'm out, Base Junkie sees you in the next one. See you later.